Welcome to today's tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to combine stitches. Here are some fun examples of ways you can combine your stitches in maybe a little bit more fun and modern way than you may have seen before. So here are some samples that I have right over here. As you can see, you can combine straight stitching, some any sort of swirls that you've got here or that um, wavy line, and then you can combine any other decorative element. Here, I love these little crosses. I think it's a fun modern way um, of adding a little twist to your quilting. So what I'm gonna actually do with this later on is I'm gonna make a little zipper pouch out of this. So as you can see, there's a straight stitch here, and then there are little crosses or little X's every so often. So not only can you combine stitches to get a fun little modern look here, but you can also combine stitches on doing letters and symbols as well. I'm gonna actually, we're gonna have a link below on how to do this in a little bit more, um, Inform, a little bit more information on that. So stay tuned for that, we'll have a link below. But let's go over to the machine and I'm gonna show you how to actually combine some stitches. So the first thing we have to do to get started is pick the stitches that we wanna combine. So on the screen here, we're going to go to the home button, which is right at the bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna to go to my decorative stitches icon and then I'm gonna select quilting. So I've already preset um, my settings to the positions that I want them to be in. Um, so now what I want to do is at this top corner right here, you're going to see this little icon that has three consecutive hearts, and then it's going to have another button that when you turn it, it's going to change, and the three hearts get smaller, and the heart, the spade, and the diamond gets larger. And that's the symbol for combining stitches. So now what I want to do is I'm going to replicate that little um, cross stitch that I did earlier. So I'm going to select five, of the straight stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm gonna add my little plus sign to it for my cross. I'm going to go back to my home and I'm going to select my decorative stitches. Now I'm gonna to go to heirloom, I'm going to turn my page, and I'm gonna select one little cross there. And that's all you have to do to create this stitch. Now, if I wanted to, I could combine any combination of stitches together. So let's say I could add some of these little guys there, and that can look kind of fun. But if I don't like that, I can always delete anything that I've created, or I can also use these arrows here to insert another stitch or delete a stitch that I don't like or I'm not happy with. But this is the order that I like it in, so I'm gonna go back down to the end, and now all I have to do is start stitching. So another nice thing about this feature on the machine here is this shows you what foot you wanna use. Anytime you use decorative stitching, you really wanna use either the F foot or the F2 foot. And the reason that is, is because on the foot itself, there's actually a little bit of a groove at the bottom that allows your decorative stitches to slide right through without pressing them down, smashing them, or creating any extra drag. So that's why when you see on your machine it shows a decorative stitch, it's gonna show the F foot, is because it's actually specially designed so that you don't get any extra drag. Now on my machine here, I have the F2 foot, which is the open toe clear foot. I like this one for this design because it gives me a little bit more visibility on where I'm stitching because I want to be a little precise on where I stitch this out because I'm going to use these stripes as a guide. I'm going to stitch right along that edge and I'm going to get this really cute little pattern right here that I'm going to create. So let's go over the machine, stitch this out. So all I have to do is lower my foot and I also want to make sure that my needle is exactly where I want it to be to get started. And if I want to, I could do a needle down or I could turn my flywheel to get really precise and make sure that I am stitching exactly where I want to do. So I'm in a good spot right now. So all I have to do is start sewing. Thanks for watching today's tips video on how to combine stitches. I hope you had a good time. I think you guys are gonna have a really fun time exploring all the fun options on how to combine stitches for quilting or any of your other sewing adventures.